I seen <laughs> the skinny guy bum rush the stage with one of these little knitted hats on with dread sticking out of it, just ripping it. He was beating on the table and rapping at the same time. And that was the first time I met him. Like, was that time. I was like a little kid. I was like 16 years old at the hip hop shop. And Proof was upstairs DJing. The first time I heard him, he was rapping about cars that was going down the street. And he started representing Detroit, talking about the streets and all that. Another car here and another car there. So I was like, this guy's freestyling. So when I heard that, I was like, he's like one of the best rappers I ever heard. Tougher than Alcatraz, prison bars, driving foreign cars. <laughs> With thoughts to make too, I penetrate through. You got dreams of beating me, your long clock awake you. Hate to erase the face and disgrace you. I'm straight from Detroit, name no names. Peace to G unit in my man's game. Blow back with his shady records. Like M said, destroy you in 80 seconds. But as I really can get, I'm like Michael Jackson. He wasn't rapping. He tripped me. Like we was we was at school. And it was like a uh it was like ice outside. And so he was playing this game where we was tripping people, like on the ice. <laughs> and that's how I met him. He tripped the shit out of me and I was ready to fight. He was actually rolling with MC3 a lot. And they would go up to the hip hop shop or whatever, three would go up there. And proof would go to Osborne, the high school right around the corner from us. And then he ended up walking home from school because we stayed on Runyon, which was right around the corner. This is at this is at Osborne High School. And this is where he bought Eminem to battle everybody. I was like a little kid, I was like sixteen years old at the hip hop shop. Um I walked in and one of his homeboys, Phil Pot, was uh actually rapping in his cipher. And um I kind of jumped in the cipher, and uh, I, I started going in. Like I was, I was like killing him. I would see proof, and proof would be like, "Yo, you know, he just know me from video games, and you know, around the neighborhood." So he didn't think I was taking it serious at the time. We proof actually lived five minutes away from where we were, so he was cool as hell, welcoming me more. He was like, "Come on, man, come on to the basement, let's blow." So we ended up talking for about a good twenty minutes, getting to know each other. He heard the oohs and ahs. He was like, oh, don't let me have to come down there. And then he jumped down and kind of got in the cypher. All of a sudden, he was like, all right, all right, fuck it, fuck this, fuck it. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Put a tape in, and then we start rapping. It took a lot to get his respect. And it takes a lot for get, to get someone's respect who has that kind of juice in the hood, that, that, that statue that he had. So, um... I had to work for it and work for it. So he finally started. When he finally gave my respect was when I battled Eminem. And uh, I rapped and he was like, uh, what's your name, man? My name is uh, I was like, my name is Bizarre Kid. He was like, Bizarre Kid. He was like, ain't no kids in here, man. I like Bizarre better. And I ended up staying in, staying in this crib maybe three hours later after that battle. And we started talking about hip hop and people we knew. And, you know, and we got to know each other. We got cool ever since. And then M came around the corner to my house, and my mama thought I was selling them weed and shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I met. Uh, but M and already M and Proof was already friends though. Mm -hmm. And then me and M became close. And obviously, I already knew Proof. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much how we kind of met. Man, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean proof. Proof was it was a wild, crazy guy. Proof was super small but super strong. <laughs> it was like the strongest skinny man I ever seen. It was like the Incredible Hulk in a skinny man's body. Like proof that night at the show. I don't know what the hell he done done took. He was drunk, whatever. Spray painting the room with a fire extinguisher, and he had spray was he spray painted a green P across his chest. I remember we was on stage. And I remember some guy was doing something that was pissing proof off to the point where it was like. He he was pissing them off, man, like, super mad. We're in the hotel, we got our food, and walking up to the room, me and Swift. We all on the same floor, me, Swift, Proof, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
everybody's going to their own room, we're all on the same floor. And I remember him always in the middle of a verse. Proof jumps off and kicks the dude, like flies off the stage. It was like the sea party. This dude, his foot landed on this guy and it kicked him. And the next thing you know, Proof getting drugged out of the club. We end up fighting with the bodyguards at the club. <laughs> and he done bought a cowboy belt and he, <laughs> cowboy hat and he walking around with his shirt over his neck with the green pea on his hairy taco meat. The hairy taco meat on his chest. And this is how he walked around for the whole day. We hear, ah! Open the door, me and Snoop open our doors at the same time and right across from each other. Proof is standing in the middle of the hallway. And his ass was out, his pants was out. <laughs> it's like his pants was down and his butt was out. He's like, y'all just got my, y'all let my ass get dry. I said, yo, I didn't even know what you was doing. <laughs> he's just fucked up. You know, he's been, you know, doing his drinking and shit. We're like, oh shit. So when he drinks like that, we call him Dirty Harry. That's where he gets the name from. Like, oh shit, Dirty Harry is out. Proof was crazy, man. He used to be, he used to be the type of person who used to blow snot out his nose and girls used to look and see big ass globs of snot and he used to be chasing the girls with the snot running out his fucking nose. And he started running towards us. We like, oh shit. So we, we shut our door and we're waiting and he's beating on each door and shit. Like, come on, man, open the door, I'm cool. Open the door, he ju he jumps on you and shit. He starts biting you with the teeth and shit, man. He calls himself the T-Rex. We came out on stage one time, no pants, had a <laughs> peep spray painted on his chest. Came out on stage, had nothing on, dick out. <laughs> we both fall on the fucking ground, just out of it, man. Proof standing up over us like fucking Donkey Kong and shit, doing all type of moves and shit. So we get up, we're wrestling with him, and we're all rolling on the ground, and people just walking by us and shit, like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? I'm like, Proof, get in the fucking room, man, stop playing. Niggas tired, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get him up and shit. So we spend like a good, I would say, 45 minutes chasing him from floor to floor. Um, the best advice about music or whatever, Proof had a lot of sayings, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was like a, a young guy that had an old soul. He was just all about positivity and, and making you smile, you know what I'm saying? He, you couldn't stay mad at him long, mm. dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody that met him felt like he, they knew him personally. Everybody felt a complete bond with him. You know, he was a, a leader. A father, a husband, group member, uh, a businessman, solo artist, everything. A big brother. He was able to touch people in a way that I still would like to touch people. Mm -hmm. He was a people's person. Like he was the. He was able to. Man, he was able to do all of that. Like, be so many things to so many people. You know, I mean, he was like a. He literally was like an angel, man. It was like when, when you're at your downest moment. I mean, it's almost like he knows, he knows that. You know, he he was a person, you know, and he gave his all to everybody he came across. You know, if he if he loved you, he loved you. Like he literally, literally would give you a shirt off his back. You know, he stood, he stood for realness. He didn't, he didn't um, bite his tongue. He didn't, um, whether, what you know, you either liked him or you didn't like him, but you had to respect him. One thing that he told me was, um, nothing never comes to a sleeper but a dream. You know what I'm saying? He always told me to, to be different, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Go for your dreams. He taught me how to stand on my own first. I mean, and there's so many people, you know what I'm saying? From D12 to Super MC to Mo Dirty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, who, who got these experiences where this guy has literally changed their life. He said, don't ever give yourself a crutch. Like, don't ever depend on something so much that you can't be you. Mm -hmm. You know, or you can't, you don't know who you are when that person ain't around. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I live by that. That and self-preservation, like, take care of yourself first. Like, don't look for handouts and don't be this and don't be this and don't be this. Like, I, those things was the most important lessons I learned, man. You know, he had a good heart. He had a good heart, and he was a person who tried to save literally everybody. That was his. That was his whole thing, man. To share share something with you that can inspire you to be great, energetic, and the best of whatever it is you're doing. I mean, he was just always on it, man. He was always on it. He had so much knowledge. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, so much wisdom. I mean, to this day, man, you know, I still find myself saying his sayings and his little, uh, you know, riddles of, of what he had, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, he was the man, man. He was just the mayor of Detroit. That's what he will always be. And nobody can ever take that away from him, no matter what, he's the mayor. And that's it, man. You can't get no better than Big Proof, man. That's Detroit. You say Big Proof, you say Detroit. That's it.